Hey guys and welcome to Mechanic Gunsmith Gun Guide Gunsmith Part 2. For this task you need to modify an AKS-74U to have 60 or greater durability, 58 or greater ergonomics, 550 or less recoil, 100 or greater sighting range, weigh 3.5 kilos or less, have 6 or fewer cells, have an AKS-74U Zenit B11 handguard as well as an AK-545 by 39 6L3160 round magazine. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you find this guide useful. So starting off, we're going to start off with the AKS-74U. Now Mechanic does actually send you this in your messages. If you've sold it, you need to make sure it's the AKS-74U and not the AKS-74UN. And now in front of you is the full parts list. Starting off is the AK Zenit RP1 charging handle, the CAC vertical foregrip, and then the AKS-74U Zenit B11 handguard. And then finally is the 60 rounder, the AK-74 545 x 39 6L31 60 rounder magazine. So starting off with the 60 rounder, as this is one of the most hardest items to get out of the actual overall task, there are a few ways to get this. Now on a few of the scab boss guards as well as raiders, you can get it quite, um, quite commonly from the guns from that one if you are wanting to get it through the game like through your hideout with lavatory level 2 you can actually hand over four of the ak-74 545 magazines as well as one kick tape which can also craft it this can obviously get them from weapon crates and all the normal weapon gun parts throughout the world and they don't need to be finding raid for this raid so if you've got a friend who's got one or pop over to our discord discord.gg slash piranha underscore they can also well we could drop you one if needed so for the rest of the parts we're going to head over to skier and go to tier one this is where you're going to grab yourself the ak zenit rp1 charging handle as well as the aks 74u b11 handguard now for the cac vertical foregrip you're going to head over to peacekeeper tier one and for 32 dollars this is where you're going to buy the item now when it comes to assembling the gun what you're going to want to do is take off the of course the 30 rounder but when it comes to actually taking off the wooden part you make sure you want to make sure you take off the part so that you have this little red section with which is the gas tube if this is off and you're trying to put the b11 handguard on it won't actually accept it so make sure you take this off correctly so let's whack that on whack ourselves the cac vertical grip the rp1 charge handle as well as the 60 rounder Make sure you do have the muzzle brake on the gun as this is required and don't forget to fold the gun as well. Make sure it's over 60 durability and make sure it's the AKS-74U gun and not the AKS-74UN. Also make sure there's no bullet in the chamber as well as no bullets in the magazine either. And then this is the fully finished build and ready to go. If you are struggling with this task or just in general wanting to find people to play with, head over to prana.tv slash discord. We do have a decently large looking for group community as well as a Sherpa system. So if you just need a bit more help than normal, then we are there to help you. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe or possibly consider joining the channel membership where you can unlock early videos as well as a few custom rewards. Don't forget to check out Piranha.tv as well. That's a one-stop shop for all of your guides, tasks, keys, all those kind of things in one location. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful and I'll see you in the next video. It's gonna say. <laughs> Hello. Yo, please turn off your hacks, man. I beg of you. Is he dead? Yeah, maybe we should see if he's dead. Oh, yeah, he's dead! There is someone there, dude!